Greetings people, Jurassic Parking Plastic here, and today I'll be doing the first in a series of do-it-yourself fence videos, and we will make this one. It's just a basic chain link fence. Uh, it's good for indoor facility, yard type things, good for uh, not only Jurassic Park, but Halo, Batman, anything like that. Uh, it's the simplest one out of all of them to build. They're, uh, trickiest part is going to be getting your actual frame together. You will need scissors, cutters, wooden skewers, crazy glue, black and white paint, silver as well, optional. You can use primer, it's recommended because your paint is going to stick better. Uh, a ruler, a marker, glue gun, glue gun glue, and most of all, important list, important, the most importantly, and most importantly, better barrier gutter guard. Would be nothing. You would not have a fence without gutter guard. Without your gutter guard, you would not have a fence. You would not have a fence without your gutter guard. Gutter guard, gutter guard, gutter guard, gutter guard, gutter guard. So for your wooden dowels, you're gonna need two at 11, three at six, and two at five and a half. Got to go. Put a tiny, tiny dab of glue gun glue on the frame first. And uh, so just a little tiny bit. You can even get a uh, glue gun. Get a wooden dowel. And when the glue is just coming out a little bit, you just scoop a little tiny bit on the dowel and then you dab it like that. And then, uh, you put the crazy glue on the parts of that which uh, the normal glue is not uh, touching. So now that we have our glued together wooden frame, we're going to want to apply our glue gun. So you can cut a rough length. Uh, it's good for it to be a little bit over. You can always just trim it so it fits after. Uh, so what's going to make this a lot easier is an ingredient I forgot to mention. Clamps! Clamp your you're going to want to take small dabs of crazy glue and do a little dabs at a time on areas where you can see the contact happening. And then you put it uh, next to a fan, let it dry, and then you rotate your clamps and then you keep doing little tiny dabs. Now this is a process, it takes a while uh, to get it good and, and strong. So you're gonna wanna have it next to a fan and make sure that there's lots of good dry time in between your coats. So once you keep rotating your clips and doing uh, drops of this, and you can also use the, the glue gun again to do little tiny dabs, but you don't wanna overuse the glue gun because it could uh, melt the thin mesh and it can also create uh, unsightly kind of things coming off of your fence. Two of these, octagons or squares and you just glue them in on a good spot on the bottom you will end up with something like this so if you have primer you can prime it and then you uh, mix up some white and blacks to get a good gray or you can use silver too or you could even use silver after or sporadically however you want to do it it looks, it looks so much better than a black octagon so I hope that helps or maybe inspired you to start making some fences of your own. Uh, once you get into it, you can start experimenting with different kinds. You can make aged versions, you know, add craft moss and oranges for rust and even cut holes and rips in it. You can start adding doors. Uh, these doors, you can use anything really, zip ties or even bits of string uh, to connect them together. You can get as complicated or even as simple as you want with it. You need to put stuff in the fence. Good to go.